Hello, I want to talk to you, obviously, if you saw the title, I think I'm going to name it something pretty harsh, uh, about the lying you will hear in church, just to let you know, it's not fire and brimstone type stuff we talk about here. My wife and I talk about the love and acceptance of God, and that's why we get a little excited about lies in the church. It's not that we think people who lie to you are unforgiven, they're just as forgiven as you, but you need to know when they, these people are lying to you. And this is hard, cold facts about the lies you will hear. And, you know, I don't know statistically, but just from my experience and from what I've observed and any book I read, any TV, which I don't watch, but radio, which is like TV, the sermons I hear, they're all 99.9% .9 preaching the same thing. And that is the devil's first sermon, be just like God no good and evil be just like him and they are lying i'm tired of playing around and dancing around and giving people the benefit of the doubt when i realize they know better than me they study this more than me they go to theology courses and not only that they claim to be anointed of god to bring to you the truth and they are lying there's no other way i can say it to you you are being lied to constantly if you are in a church a christian church chances are very slim that you are not being lied to constantly constantly whether it's implied whether it's lies of omission because we all know the underlying theme is learn good and evil be just like jesus be like jesus who is jesus jesus is god now, i just want to read a short little scripture here to show you that god came in the flesh as jesus christ to show us what we can't do so we would give up our prideful silly selves and throw ourselves on his mercy, on his mercy, the mercy of the only one who can do any of the things he ever commanded anyone to do. No one can do these things. We can barely observe the Sabbath. And everyone fails that, who thinks they do that, unless they're going to Jerusalem three times a year. No one does it. All these things they teach you, tithes, all of it, 100% lies. You are lied to. Now I'm just gonna illustrate this real quick. In Luke chapter six, we start in verse 27. Jesus says, But I say unto you which hear, Love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. We all do that, right? The whole Christian world, you're doing that, right? Well, if you're honest, you know you're a failure. If you're not, then you're a walking hypocrite. I don't know what the percentage is. There seems to be a mixture of that in the building. I was a, a failure, so I just ignored it when I was in the building. I was like, well, maybe someday God will perform a miracle. So I'll just ignore that one for now because I know it ain't happening. But it was preached at me constantly. Bless them that curse you. Oh, yeah, so that's easy. I do it all the time. And pray for them which despitefully use you. Another, you know, hey, you hate my children. You hate me. You fire me. You, you kick me out of the place where I live. Oh, yeah, I love you. It's so easy. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee. And of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. That's talking about a thief. If someone steals from you. Don't ask to get them back. Don't go to the cops. You can't do that or you're a sinner because you're not being like Jesus. You're not being like God. You haven't learned the lesson that you need to learn. You know, Adam and Eve obeyed. They sought to learn good and evil so they could be like God. Remember? Remember that lesson? They did what they were supposed to do. What the, what the devil, your pastor, taught you. Moving down a little bit here in verse 35. But love ye your enemies, another easy one, and do good and lend, hoping for nothing. So that means what, you know, anyone needs some money, just give it to them and don't even hope you'll get it back. That's what you should do or you're disobeying God. And your reward shall be great. Oh, well, at least you got something coming. And ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. You see all those things he was talking about? Those are things he does. He does those things. He is stolen from. He is slapped on the face. He is abused. He is hated, despitefully treated, and yet he loves. See, that's the whole point. He would say, be just like me and everything will be okay. You can't be just like him. That's pride. That's pride. At the very best, if you're you're honest with yourself, you'll realize you're totally hopeless and then you'll fall into depression, knowing what a failure you are. 
excuse me, a couple more here. Verse 36. Be ye therefore merciful as your Father also is merciful. So again, be just like God. Be merciful just like Him. Everything will be fine. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. So then, you're a little bit better than God now because He'll give you His forgiveness as long as you first forgive, which is not what's taught in the New Covenant at all. This is an Old Covenant teaching. Jesus taught the Old Covenant. If your pastor, preacher, teacher, evangelist, friend, whoever is teaching you to obey the commands of Jesus, they are teaching you to obey the Old Covenant. They are teaching you to obey the Law of Moses. That's what it is. You're not supposed to obey the Law of Moses. The Law of Moses was to drive you to the mercy of God. We are under the New Covenant. Paul makes it clear. Forgive as you have been forgiven. That's what we do. Because then it leads to the next verse. Then all these prosperity guys, and the more, even the more subtle ones who don't seem to be prosperity, they say, oh no, I don't want tithing. But yet they send in little messages like, well, if you give, do you think you'll get more later? Or do you think you'll get less later? That's a tricky one. I like that one. That's real sneaky. That's better than the bold face uh, liars that get on your TV screen with their funny hair and, and their cr crazy suits. Uh, they get you through guilt. Oh, you don't have enough faith to know that if you give, God won't give you more? Oh, I guess you don't have enough faith then. So screw your rent and your kids having a decent meal to eat. You know? But anyway, this famous one, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall men give unto you, into your bosom. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying blah, blah, blah to the scriptures. I'm saying blah, blah, blah to the ones who preach this and say that this is the way you are to live your lives. No, it's the way you are to live your lives to make them happy so they can have their life. Because there's a reason why they lie to you. They lie to you to maintain their lifestyle. Because these people don't work for a living. Again, 99% of them, they drive nice cars, they live in nice homes, and they don't do anything for it. They'll tell you, oh no, oh no, Mark, I, I counsel people and I deal with people's problems and worries and stresses. Well, pal, that's your choice. You chose to do that. That's not what the Bible calls to do, take on everyone's burdens. That is not what, that, we are not being led by you. You are not our shepherd. Jesus is our shepherd. That's why he came here. That's why he poured out the Holy Spirit. It's because he is now in this world ministering to each and every one of us. There is no man above me. Call him no man father. And I'm not just picking on Catholics. I'm just saying we are all in the same boat here. Pastors, preachers, teachers, evangelists. You all need Jesus just like we do. And you're not above us. If you can teach me something, that's fine. But that doesn't get you out of the same boat, the same misery, the same hopelessness that you have without the Lord. You need to get to work and get a job and earn your own living. And quit earning it off the backs of people by lying to them. And I understand a lot of people out there are going to hear this and probably turn it off a long time ago because you want to be lied to. And I understand that. I mean, I don't really understand it because I never wanted to be lied to, but I did lie to myself. I did hide these things from myself. I just ignored them and said, oh my God, I have to love my enemy. I mean, you start right off in that. And then he gets into the substance of what it means to love your enemy. He slaps you, turn the cheek. He takes from you, give him more. Lend to them and don't even expect to get paid back. Come on, folks. Who's doing that? I guarantee you, your pastor isn't doing it. Because the literal meaning of this, which is what we have to take it as, the literal meaning is you will soon be naked in the streets, starving to death. Because that is what is, will happen. Because there is enough people out there who will take from you until you have no more. And you, you're not supposed to rely on people anyway. You're supposed to rely on Jesus. Take care of your family. Take care of your bills. Don't give it to some liar who knows what he's doing when he lies to you. These people are out and out lying through their teeth. They are liars. And I would ask you to confront them. Pastor, how come we don't do this? How come you don't do this, Pastor? Have you ever sent a, a debt collection agency on something, someone, Pastor? Have you ever done that? Because if you did, you disobeyed Jesus. And you are violating the commands. And if they try to give you some mealy mouth explanation about how, well, you know, we're all a work in progress, or he didn't mean it literally, or your family has to come first, and then you do these things. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that anywhere. He's talking about a bunch of people, and a lot of them have wives and kids. And he was just, that's why I'm saying, the point he was making was, you can't do this. It wasn't do this. He was just making it clear, because the devil comes in all sly and subtle. Oh, be just like God. Learn about good and evil. It'll be okay. Be just like him. He comes in and says, no, here's what it is to be like God. Never think a single bad thought ever in your life. 
always do good, always have mercy, and always love people exactly like God. Because he knows how prideful we are. Don't believe it. Don't believe the lie. Question these people. Question them. Confront them. Don't believe everything they're telling you. They don't have your best interests at heart. And even if they did, they can make mistakes. But confront them. Bring this, this question. Show them this video. Confront these people. Find out the truth for yourself. You know it. Even if they keep on lying to you, you can know the truth. Believe the truth. Believe in Jesus. And you'll have him. He is the truth. In Jesus' name. Amen.